Town Live. A blind athlete is pushing himself to his limits and surpassing them. Now he's set to represent the entire U.S. at the Para Triathlon World Championships in London. All of this is really the accumulation of a lot of hard work, and so now he and his guide are raising money to get there. Eyewitness News reporter Adela Uchida live on Houston's south side to show us how they're doing it. Hi, Adela. Hi, Alona. Well, I am at the lake where a blind triathlete Brandon Adami often practices. He's been selected to represent the USA at the Para Triathlon World Championships in London in September. So he's training a lot, but he needs a little help getting there. Two, one, go. When 30-year-old Brandon Adami hits the water, he's like any other triathlete looking for a personal best. But Adami is a little different. He's blind. And I was like going, Dad, Dad, I think that my eyes have gone completely. Adami was born visually impaired and lost all of his vision when he was 15. His dad says that never kept him from competing. And Brandon got the triathlon bug in 2010. Brandon, to my surprise, said, I'll give it a shot. And we were off to the races. Perfect. Exactly. Now, after a great qualifying race in Austin, Adami is on his way to a world competition. To represent this country in the Para World Triathlon Championships uh, in London this coming September. With the help of a guide, Adami will swim 750 meters, or nearly half a mile. Then onto a bike for 12 and a half miles. It is a big job, says his guide, Ron Stitt. So that's a big part of my job out there. Not only to be his eyes and to keep him safe out there, but also to uh, kind of pace him. That's a good pace. And finally, they'll run a 5K, or 3.1 miles. But getting there might be tougher than the training. The Adamis are trying to raise $18,000 selling these t-shirts, accepting donations, getting about Brendan's incredible story, hoping dollar by dollar and mile by mile, Brandon okay, Adami ahead. makes his personal best a world best. I have to seriously ramp up all of the training that, that it will take for me to get the gold medal in $1,500 cash. <laughs> Yeah, that gold medal comes with $1,500 cash. Now the Adamis are trying to raise enough to get Brandon, his guide Ron Stint, and his parents across the Atlantic, as well as the tandem bicycle baggage fees. Think about that all the way to London and back. There are other costs associated as well. To find out more about those t-shirts or just to find out more information, we have a link on our website, abc13.com slash info. Live at 288 Lake, Adele Uchida, 13 Eyewitness News. Well, he's representing the entire U.S. and also inspiring many of us here as well, Adela. Thanks a lot.